Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Butterfly Touch. We are getting huge response and uh, we are having a lot of fun putting ideas together. This week we asked you guys to share with us what you do for the community to help around holidays. Um, thank you for your feedback. Uh, we will be sharing some of your stories in a bit. But first, we would like to make a couple of special mentions. I've been very, very lucky to have incredible support as I have and people to take the time to send me special gifts. Uh, for each episode, we will be showing off a few of these gifts. Um, today, as you can see, we were sh we will be showing <laughs> these cards. This is, um, we'd like to send a huge thank you. Thank you. To Mandy Mamamous Capaldi, who made these beautifully handcrafted holiday cards for us to sell at the Butterfly Child Holiday Benefit Concert. And all of the proceeds will go to Deborah Canada and Jonathan. Thank you so much, Mandy. Did Thank you me. know, Mandy, that there's Deborah organizations in many countries? And there's one in the UK, too, which is where you are from. And there's actually 40 chapters of different Deborahs all over the world. There's that many? That many. Wow. I mean, it's kind of weird considering that there's so less people yeah, that have EV. Exactly. It's it crazy. just shows the dedication. Yeah, exactly. That they have for sure. So thank you very much, Mandy. We will be thank selling you. these, and uh, we're just so appreciative that you sent these oh, to yeah. us. They'll be sell sold out in a second. I think for sure, for sure. And now for some of your stories, we're going to start with Carlos from Spain. Hi, Carlos. Uh, he says, congratulations on your award. Thank you. And for those that don't know, Jonathan just won two awards at uh, last weekend. He won the Ambassador of the Year Award and the Perseverance Award at the Russell Township Gala. And he was a rock star, and he gave an amazing speech. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, so Carlos says, here in Spain for Christmas, philanthropically, uh, he builds a Belen. I hope I'm saying that right. A Belen, uh, which is made of stone, cork, and clay. Okay. And when it's completed, cool. they show it to the public, nice. and then um, the public leaves donations. Nice. That's yeah. cool. And with the money collected, they buy food for people who have nothing for Christmas. Awesome. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So his question to you is, do you like Christmas? I do. It's a great time of year to get around with family. I, can, I love Christmas, especially... Seeing the snow fall at night, those huge snowflakes, I just love it. And what do you like to do? What's your favorite thing to do on Christmas? Oh, goodness. My favorite thing to do on Christmas is probably, um, like I said, just to get around with family. And it's the one time of year where we actually have the time to just get around with everyone in the family and just tell stories and just have fun and eat and drink. And it's a great time. I love it. It is. It's it's finding the time, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's That's almost like Christmas forces us to take the time. Yeah. Which is great. Well, thank you for your message, Carlos. Thank you. And so the next one is from Tracy Lynn Mallet. Who Hi, Tracy. She used to live here in Russell. Nice. I know. Her girls played hockey here. Cool. Mm -hmm. She says, great job. Thank uh, you very much. On the video. And uh, when she thinks about how to give back to the, the community during the holiday season, it makes her think of the wonderful Breakfast Club program. I heard of it. Mm -hmm. It was put on by the Russell Minor Hockey Association. Cool. Not only was it great fun to be a part of seeing the kids come out early in the morning to learn some hockey drills, but seeing the different age groups all eat breakfast together afterwards. That's cool. It was very special. Um, they always had a hot breakfast on the last morning that usually fell right before Christmas. Cool. Lots of parents and coaches came out to help on the ice and at the stove, and there's a real sense of community. That's cool. And she says, Russell is a special place. It is. It's not Russell without hockey, and that's a great idea. She says, thank you for doing a wonderful job representing Russell. Thank you very much, and I will continue for sure. And stay well and keep up the fight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tracy. All right, from Christine. Hi, Christine. She says, uh, she's looking forward to our second vlog. Here so, it is. Here we are. <laughs> and we've taught her a new word, vlog. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think it was the word at first, but it actually is. We taught ourselves a new word. Yeah. <laughs> she says, congratulations on your awards. Thank you very much. You're well deserved. Um, they are donating gifts through a program that her church is running. Nice. So they're going to buy gifts for two boys, ages 11 to 13. Okay. So they select items that they think the boys at that age will like. So she wants to know, can you help her with some ideas? Oh, okay. I can try to think. I've heard a lot about the game Assassin's Creed. That's at school. And another one I've heard a lot about is the new Skylanders game that's coming out. I think there's something like four games of those. Mm -hmm. And it's a cool game. I've actually seen a few previews of it and some friends play with it. And I think those are two good gifts. 
Um, I may be wrong, but I think those are two nice ideas. I think my kids would agree for sure. Um, so what her church does is they set up a room full of gifts that are unwrapped okay. and, and parents from the community who are in need, who need a bit of help at Christmas, come and shop for their kids and cool. they select the items that their, their kids would enjoy. And then they donate non-perishable food to the food bank as well. That's a great idea. And she says, your question is prompting her to think of what more they can do. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you very much and good job. Thanks, Christine. Um, so another... Um, Another uh, person who left a message goes by the name Spendthrift. Hi. And says, my girls can do a can drive cool. um, at, a st- at a store. And then they donate the food. Uh, they donate to the food bank. Oh, that's a great idea. I like that. Yeah, the food bank, I think, comes up a lot in the oh, community very outreach. Much. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's so important because um, not everybody realizes yeah. that the person living next door to you could have an empty exactly. fridge. Even, even at school, you think, you know, Every kid just looks so happy and so, you know, just they look awesome as kids and do a lot for the community. But some of them do a lot of things, but at the same time, they don't receive as much. Yeah. And it's so. sad, but it's, I think the food bank is a huge part of Russell. I think it's a, it's a necessity for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you for that message. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Um, Charlene says, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, and she's looking forward to this vlog. Here it is. Here it is. Um, this year, she's helping her community um, f- fill some wishes from the angel tree. Nice. That's a good idea. Yeah. So it's a tree they put up in their church, and it's covered with paper angels. Okay. And each angel has a wish or a need for someone in the community. Oh. So you, then you pick off an angel and okay. you fill the wish. Cool. Whatever the wish is. That's a good idea. Yeah. So her son Logan and his Boy Scout troop will be making stuffing for the church. Awesome. Which would be super cool and passed out for the Thanksgiving meal. Awesome. And she's wishing you and your family a wonderful holiday season. Well, thank you. And you too. And wanted to know if you've had the chance to go see the Northern Lights yet. And if not, do you have plans to go? I haven't seen them yet. Um, we were supposed to go in September, but I had surgery. Uh, so we didn't go. And as for plans of going, there's none yet. We have still more surgeries to come. And we don't really have uh, the time yet. But we will eventually go. But no, there we don't have any plans yet. We will soon, though, I think. Yeah, you're gathering a pretty big team of people that want to help you. That's for sure. Get up there, for sure. But you have to be well yeah. enough to go. Yeah, and the season has to be right. The season has to be right. The weather has to be good. And then we can do all this work and get up there. And nothing happens. And Mother Nature's in charge from that yeah. point on. <laughs> so hopefully the sun decides to shoot a few rays. Yes, it'd be beautiful. Yeah, it is. But it's, it's a trip that's going to happen, for sure. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. Thank you for your message, Charlene. Thank you. And uh, our last message here is from Barbie. Hi. And she says, at Christmas time, they like to pick a family or two that could use a helping hand. Good. And it's always a, a well-kept family secret. Awesome. They don't tell anybody, but they're telling us. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> and good idea. So they each pick out some gifts that we think they would like. Nice. And then the kids also pick out a gift for the family and pay for it with their own money. Wow, that's a great tradition. I really like that idea. It's awesome. And then sometime around Christmas, they knock on the family's door, they leave okay. the stuff, and they run away. Nice. That's, that's pretty, a good idea. It is. It always makes them happy and feel more of the Christmas spirit. I agree. That's a good idea. Yeah, because it's about sharing. It reminds yeah. me of um, my girlfriend, Deirdre, and I did this one Easter. We really? left her at 3 or 4 in the morning and had all these chocolate baskets, and we wow. left them on people's doorstep and uh, waited to see if they would talk about it. Nobody knew it was us, and it was it was wow. such a rush. It's such a great feeling well, when yeah, you do that. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Even when we go and do events like that, it just feels good. Yeah. It's a great idea. And I think Christmas just reminds us to do more of that. Of course, of course. Yeah, which is why we decided that was our topic for today's episode. Yep. So we encourage you all to do more community outreach. And thank you for sharing your stories with us. And keep going, you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Exactly. So that concludes the episode today. All right. So um, remember to subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel or our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And um, to get all the latest videos. And remember to get your tickets for the holiday concert. And I guess we'll see you next week for another episode of The Butterfly Touch. Thank you all and take care. Bye. Bye.